this rubric that has those students engaging. Your students who cannot write down their thoughts, they practice listening to one another. They discuss with one another because we all know we can sit up here and preach for days. They're not listening to us after about five minutes. But you let them listen to one another, they're quick to tell you, oh, yes, Ms. John, I agree. Oh, yes, I don't agree with you. You know, they, they'll tell each other. They'll be quite frank. And that rich debate and them getting ideas and defense of their decision or their answer, that's where that tie into that compass rubric is coming from. Bouncing ideas off of each other and formulating their own opinion and knowing where and how to get that evidence back out of that text. Knowledge, building knowledge through content-rich nonfiction. Yes, that, and it doesn't have to be this long piece of writing. Okay, your kids may not be able to, I keep calling them kids, but your students may not be able to read a long piece. Okay, it may have to be some short excerpts, but you're giving them the tools they need to apply it later. I put it, the shift in park with the shift in ELA in the comprehension, I'm not going to keep saying that because it's drilled in my head for the last 10 years, Common Core State Standards. This, these were the shifts in um, ELA and Common Core with the balance of informational and literary text where they have to have, they give it to you by grade level for Common Core as to like 75, 25, and then it, it kind of shifts down until it's almost 50, 50. Um, knowledge of the discipline, that means they need to know science and social studies terminology in English. And English people need to have those children exposed so, Francis Touchet, who's our network leader, I don't know how many of you are from our orange network, but he said, you know, when he was a principal, you were either on the math team, you were on the English team. Well, if you're on the English team, everybody's on the English team now. And if you're on the math team, you better support your English team too, and vice versa, because everybody's writing, everybody's thinking above level. Text-based answers, and that kind of correlates back with going into the text and getting your answer and supporting it. Writing from sources and academic vocabulary. This is very, very powerful, too. Um, common core state standards verbs. The verbs you see in the common core state standards will be in the park assessment. They will be there. So know them, teach them, and be sure your children, three, grade three through grade 11, know what those verbs are. They can do those verbs. They can apply those verbs. Because they're going to be asked in the same terminology.